Hi, my name's Dr. Paul Lolette, otherwise known as Dr. Lolette. You say certain uh, things are non-entities, and I wanted you to elaborate on anterior guidance just so I can clear it in, in my mind and get my arms around it. Um, and I think that comes from what the Dawson camp, as far as uh, they use these teeth uh, to protect the posterior teeth. And uh, so it's a non-entity is what your comment was. And do you mean that just for parafunction patients or for um, normal occlusion it's a non-function, it's a non-entity. Well there's certain dogma that we've been taught and the problem is that that a lot of this dogma says that we're trying to when we're dealing with parafunction we're trying to the best way to deal with parafunction is to design the occlusal scheme, so to speak, that certain teeth will take the brunt of the force. And they've gone from group function to cuspid rise to now the thing in vogue is anterior guidance. And they have a concept that says mutually protected occlusion where the, the posterior teeth are protecting the front teeth during clenching and the front teeth are protecting the posterior. Absolute nonsense. It's just nonsense because we're talking about people who are grinding their teeth. Parafunction. And the only time they're doing that is when they're sleeping. Mm -hmm. Have you ever, ever yeah. seen anyone grind their teeth during the day? I'm sure there is someone out there. Mm -hmm. There's always the exception the rule that grinds their teeth during the day. But they don't. It's while sleeping. And so to design certain teeth to take the brunt of these parafunctional forces Nonsense. rather than a guard doesn't make sense. It's outdated dogma. Mm -hmm. And it never made sense in the first place. Mm -hmm. 